you're beginning to creep me out, Arthur. Excuse me, you listen to me. I ain't got ideas above my station. I just got to do that. No more. We always have to save for our supper mess. Sure, and singing's fine, but I'm done with that. And if you want me to leave, then that's fine, too. Well, I suppose I can discuss the matter with you. Done? Do whatever you goddamn please. Horrendous old hag! How dare she! Hey, Arthur, C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said... Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <sighs> Come on then, you miserable bastards. How do you get wind of this, old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been all fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. Finding the nearest grog house. Hey. You don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. 
They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. All right. We best hit it quick, Dan. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Well, they'll be passing through the... Crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> Boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Quicker if someone helped me. Now, let's see what's inside. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> this 
try and get out of here. Hey. Shit. Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I did not Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I, 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 why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Clay, Clay, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. Uh, better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir... <clears throat> The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. The place looks empty to me. And the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellas! Getting out of here alive! Behind you, Charles! More on the right here! Where are they all coming from? Looks like Mr. Cornwall's gone and upped his security. Watch out! This fella really don't like getting robbed. Let's just hope. Run out of bullets. Nice. They keep you back moving the army too. If you keep your back beat still for ten goddamn seconds, you got us into this. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. I got this, Uncle. Uh. You want to do it? In the front. Oh, shit. Pop. The oil from that lantern. Damn it. Watch it, Charles.
quick. Behind these rocks. They're coming this way. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You take the left and I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my Just right. Bastard! Get the hell ah! Arthur! Ah! Made a meal out of that, didn't you? Just stand there, why don't you? Making an old man suffer. We should go give him a hand. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Go on, get out of here. Every man split up. Go on, run, quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. But you won't. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. 
I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you, if that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. <laughs>